Om et øjeblik så skal du se en film på engelsk og med danske undertekster optaget på vores serviceværksted. Hejfa-klubben de udvider, og vi har nu butikker i både Danmark, Norge, Sverige, Tyskland og Holland. Og derfor så vil vi fra tid til anden lave film med relevant indhold på engelsk for at imødekomme alle vores kunder. God fornøjelse. Hi everyone, my name is Christopher, and I want to welcome you here to Hi Club's Central Service and Repair Shop. Today we are going to find the answer to one very simple question: Why does Hi Fi Club's products last so long? Come with me, let's have a look. In this team, we do thousands and thousands of repairs every single year. <coughs> Hey guys! Hi! Hi Christopher! We uh, we are actually running one of Europe's largest specialized uh, hi-fi repair shops here. So we can do anything from like a sound box like you can see here to a sound bar, I see a, a CD player over here, or even over to high-end amplifiers. More or less anything can be repaired in a repair shop like this. One of the things that makes Hi-Fi Club special is that we have a very close partnership with all of our suppliers when it comes to product design, product development, quality control. So that also means that it's a lot easier to repair the product. Hi. What do we have here? We have a Dali Grande um, with a defect uh, crossover, no problem. I think they are 25 years old, but uh, it's uh, possible to repair that. How long time does a speaker like this last? Not ever, but um, uh, 25, 30 years. Yeah, the technician here, he has an old uh, loudspeaker uh, from Bowers and Wilkins uh, that is uh, 40 years old or something 79. like that. 79. From 79, yeah. Uh, amplifiers coming in, uh, that is, uh, yeah, 20, 30, 40. I think we have one over here uh, on the table that's actually 35 years old, um, an older Denon amplifier here. So an amplifier like this, you say this is 35 years old or something? Yeah, no, but but how, how long time could this last, you think? There's a lot of uh, NAD and Denon stuff we, we saw those days uh, that's still coming in for repair. I, I see a trend in uh, repairing older products. Hmm. Watch out! <laughs> Upstairs here we have a huge inventory of old products that for some reason uh, don't work anymore and that's been scrapped or uh, is not uh, meant for use anymore. Uh, but the good news is we don't throw anything out. If a product cannot be repaired, we always save it for, uh, for spare parts and for maybe using some of it later. Watch your head. Chances are we have an old product here that where we can use the parts and uh, and make it come to life in, a, in another product. A lot of uh, amplifiers and receivers last for a really long time if the component quality is high enough. So in general, the better quality you buy, the longer it lasts and the more uh, or the higher chance you get of actually having a product that you can repair. So many of these can be easily 20, 30, some of them 40 or even 50 years old, no problem for an amplifier if the component quality is good. I can see, for example, there's an old NAD power amp here, a 2100 PE power envelope. It's a really, really powerful uh, NAD amp. I used to run really big speakers on a bad boy like this. Uh, actually, I used to use it for, for mobile DJing uh, way back when I was like 16 years old. Really cool amp. A lot of people today, you can take a product like this one I have here, a lot of people would go for a product like this. It's a typical all-in-one speaker where you have everything smashed into one box. This is actually a pretty good one, it's from Bowers and Wilkins, but it's still the concept that you put everything into one box, like a smart brain, it's a smart speaker, an amplifier and a loudspeaker in, in one box. That's smart for convenience, but in my opinion, you know, you can think of it a little bit like, uh, like a computer. It's very smart when you buy it, but the challenge with computers is that 10 years later, it's probably not the newest computer technology anymore. And the speaker is the same. So if you buy a speaker that's integrated like this with a smart platform built into it, 
it might not be that smart in the future. If you take a pair of traditional speakers, like you have a pair here, for example, from, from Dali, I can just show you traditional uh, hi-fi speakers like this, and always two of them, of course, because you want to listen in stereo, right? If you take traditional loudspeakers, you took the, uh, the amplifier and, uh, and the smart brain and placed it outside the speaker in an amplifier, for example, then you can always upgrade that and repair it on a running basis and your loudspeakers will never get too old. They basically last forever. So in my opinion, that's a cool choice. Go for separates and go for good quality, of course.